Hello, friends. How are you? I think I may have mentioned that I'm doing a book called Digital Dharma, how AI can elevate spiritual intelligence and personal well-being. So here's a look at the book cover. Here's a look at the book cover. I hope you like it. And you can see the quote at the bottom from Sam Altman, who is the CEO of OpenAI. And he says, AI has the potential to uh, help us create a more peaceful, just, sustainable, healthy, and joyful world. Digital Dharma shows you a path, Sam Altman. So anyway, um, people are asking, can uh, AI be conscious? And I've said, no, AI cannot be conscious. It can be super intelligent. But let me share with you how AI can help us uh, actually access our own creativity and our own reflection by uh, giving us through large language models the prevailing opinion about anything. So this morning I went um, on uh, on uh, on uh, AI, yeah, one of the AI machines. I usually go to ChatGPT or uh, Gemini, and I asked the following questions. I said, uh, "Is the quantum field per all pervasive? Does it uh, pervade all of space time?" And the answer I got was, "Yes, it does." Then I asked, is the Higgs field an aspect of the quantum field? And I got a detailed answer, yes, that the Higgs field is, a, is an aspect of the quantum field. And it fluctuates with what we now call Higgs bosons. And by the way, uh, Peter Higgs just passed away. Um, may he rest in peace. So Higgs bosons are uh, fluctuations of the uh, Higgs field that give mass to particles. Uh, although the mass, the mere mass in a particle is in the nucleus, you know, where the strong and weak interactions are present and then the atomic nucleus is most of the mass. But what gives particles mass is the Higgs field. It uh, acts uh, like uh, molasses, increases the resistance to particles and that condensed energy then appears as mass, my understanding. But anyway, if the quantum field is part of the Higgs field, or the Higgs field is part of the quantum field, then it pervades all of space-time, then of course, it pervades our body as well. So uh, when I asked these questions, the answer was yes. Then I asked, is our awareness um, Part of the Higgs field and or the quantum field. And the answer was no. Science doesn't agree with that. Although there are some scientific philosophers who suggest that, but standard science does not say that um, um, that uh, the quantum field has uh, awareness or is imbued with subjectivity. Then I said, well, how about? the human body mind it's it's we know it as awareness so, uh, which i shall read to you because it shows the limitations of ai here's a breakdown of your statements and the concepts it touches upon and the potential for further exploration so it starts the ideas behind your statement quantum quantum field basis the idea that our physical bodies and minds have a basis in the quantum field is a fascinating one rooted in quantum physics. The field is thought to be a fundamental layer of reality where particles and energy exist in a state of probability and interconnectedness. Mind as extension of quantum field. The notion that the mind including consciousness arises from or is heavily influenced by the quantum field is debated by scientists and philosophers. Okay, so right now, where I disagree with this is the mind, including consciousness. Uh, I think of mind as a modified form of consciousness, and I don't think of it as arising from anything. 
it is fundamental it actually is how we know the quantum field or the higgs field through consciousness and through awareness okay the next point awareness is and self awareness consciousness is often broken down into awareness um, being conscious of the world around us and self awareness being conscious of our own existence so that part is right these are complex phenomena that we don't really understand okay that's the prevailing opinion our body is aware this statement implies that our physical bodies themselves might possess a degree of awareness so first of all um, um, then it goes on to describe the levels of awareness so let me see what it says levels of awareness the idea of a body being aware can be debated um, does it imply sentience responsiveness to stimuli at a cellular level or something else scientific ambiguity there's no conclusive scientific proof for the idea that our bodies have the same type of awareness that we associate with a human mind see there's a lot of confusion i'm not talking about the mind at the moment every cell has to be aware in order to respond to the stimuli that it experiences in fact the whole body is a field of awareness so this is where um, the ai gave a answer that represents the confusion among scientists and philosophers so much of this territory lies in theoretical physics and philosophy there's no conclusive scientific proof for the idea that our bodies have the same type of awareness that we associate with the human mind yeah the static awareness they don't have narratives or stories that the human mind has but the cells have to have awareness otherwise they wouldn't be responding to you know the instantly changing um, biochemistry of the body or having to deal with nutrition or all the things that our body depends on it depends on because cells have awareness so remember cells have awareness then it talks about the mind body connection current understanding heavily emphasizes the interconnectedness of our body and our minds i would say even that is wrong the inseparability of body and mind as one activity entangled activity in consciousness so that's where i disagree changes in consciousness can alter bodily states and even vice versa that's true whether this is due to them both being expressions of the same fundamental quantum field is an open question well not for me uh, then it goes on to say the hard problem of consciousness explaining exactly how consciousness arises from a physical brain i don't believe it arises from a physical brain i believe that the brain including its neural correlates are experiences in consciousness so it says explaining how exactly consciousness arises from a physical brain assumption okay let alone a wider quantum reality is still a massive mystery in science and philosophy yes in science and philosophy but not through direct experience how to enhance your understanding here's where you could go further explore these ideas quantum physics and consciousness research authors like deepak chopra well thank god it says well it doesn't really matter deepak chopra is also a concept but i'll say what it says quantum physics and consciousness research authors like deepak chopra or delve so you could go these explore these ideas by listening to the um, teachings or exploring the teachings of uh, deepak chopra or de- dwell into quantum mechanics theories like orc or orchestrated objective reduction theory that links quantum processes to consciousness well stuart hammeroff and roger penrose to whom this theory is attributed um the orc or theory are friends of mine uh, stuart more a friend of mine i've met sir roger penrose on a couple of occasions and i do think that orc or may play a role in conscious experience so i'm not talking about um, that 
conscious experiences and the expression of consciousness, which I believe is a universal field, and ORC or could provide the physical substrate for experience because you know we know that anesthesia and Stuart is an anesthetist. Anesthetist, he's a professor. And so yes, there could be truth to the ORC OR theory that links quantum consciousness, no sorry, quantum physics to conscious experience. Then it says, look at philosophy of mind, look into the philosophy of mind, which explores the relationship between consciousness and the physical world, and learn about how the brain creates various types of awareness and how it responds to stimuli. Okay, so that's what I got from AI. And I would say that all that was very helpful. And to me, it was helpful in first of all, um, validating that what I'm saying is being heard, not that that's important, but where I found it helpful is that the current prevailing worldview is still dominated by physicalism. And most of science is based on physicalism, physicalism, which is based on subject object split, which is obviously artificial, and which is based on matter as the ontological primitive. So is AI useful? Can AI elevates spiritual intelligence and personal well-being. I obviously think so. And Sam Alton obviously thinks so. But do not mistake the map for the territory because um, the territory apparently is infinite and only direct experience of transcendence can give us the direct experience of the territory. Is AI useful? Yes. Is AI super intelligent? Yes. Is AI conscious? No, it doesn't experience subjectivity like hunger and thirst and sex and existential dilemmas. Um, so it's not conscious. Is AI a useful tool for elevating spiritual intelligence and personal well-being? I definitely believe it. The book will be out in December 2, on December 2, and um, I'll be happy to share it with you. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed that conversation, or at least it gave you a moment to reflect.